Hello and welcome to Survive the Planet Plex's q and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Uh, originally, this video was going to be posted on Monday, but I decided to delay it to Wednesday. You know, middle of the week, because then um, the, day, the day after that, the day after tomorrow, which is for you guys Thursday uh, or Friday, the day after tomorrow for you guys, um, I will be talking about Project Say the Name. Um, I'll probably be working on that video as well. So everything that you're probably gonna be, I'm talking about, I'm talking to it on Monday. So this is this is in the past. So hello, people in the future. Um, so let's get started. If you haven't played Five to Plan Plex, you're you, you, what are you doing? Go go play that game with a couple of your friends. Go get five of your friends. Go play that game because I um, people have had a lot of fun on my map. But um, just right quick. Uh, everybody, uh, if you would be so kind to use um, Daylight Reborn in the Fortnite Amazon shop, um, it, it, you know, it helps me a lot. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, hit one hundred dollars before the uh, before the you know the deadline, which is next year. Uh, that's over like um, two hundred V bucks or two hundred. Yeah, I wish it was um, two hundred thousand V bucks, and that's a lot of V bucks. So if you guys do want to help, you know, support the cause. Then um you know you definitely use my code for not using anyone else. You know want to keep the I want to keep the code. I want to keep publishing maps for you guys to enjoy. So uh, yeah, but we're out. We're out of that little like same shameless um plug. We're, let's get it straight into the video. So we're in the Discord server. Link in the description below. Uh, wow. Link in the description down below. <sighs> wow, I'm, everything's so fast. But we're gonna be answering some questions. Um, so I guess we can start. We can start now. So, one of my mods asked, uh, Nadraku Nightmare says, um, do you have plans to make a sequel? Um, I have been going into some thought about it, and, um, it depends. It does depend. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not really putting a, um, a, a little check. I wouldn't say I, I am making a sequel, but I wouldn't say I'm not, I'm not making a sequel. So it's like 50-50. Um, um, a sequel is definitely in the works. Um... It, if if it's gonna, you know, I don't want to say, I don't want to say too much, of course, but a sequel is in the works, so that basically confirms that there will be a sequel. Um, it just, you guys just don't know when it will take place. It could be a sequel, it could be a prequel. Um, I've talked to this about my friends a couple times that um, it might not exactly line up with right after the events of the Planetplex. It could line up, you know, before or after. You know, it it, it really. It fits. It will fit somewhere within the um this Starlight Entertainment universe. All right. Do you have plans to make a FNAF style game where some of FNAF one security breach? Little Crad asked. Um. Y yes and no. Um. I feel like I kind of um. There's a lot of FNAF one styled maps. Uh, you don't really see too many f uh, security breach maps, and I won't say I'm the first one to do it. I don't think I am, but I think I, I'm the one who kind of, you know, brought the idea to light a little bit more, uh, you know. So, for, uh, like, instance, uh, if I made a FNAF 1 style map, it would um kind of take away from the, from what the story kind of has to offer. Because you kind of have to go exploring around the location. So, if I made something like FNAF 1, where you're already going to trapped inside your room... Um, you're not gonna really explore any lore because if we all think about it, the FNAF one, the first FNAF one game, um, there wasn't no real lore except from when phone guy was talking and stuff, and you only like hints and stuff that we might get to lore is when you, there was like, you know, one in a thousand Easter eggs that popped up in like the west hallway in uh, FNAF one, and you might sell like the the papers on the walls turning to crying children and stuff like that. So FNAF one game is a uh, FNAF style game. Uh, the first one, the first FNAF map style game is kind of a, it's kind of a no, but it's not a yes. Okay, now we're now we're gonna kind of we're kind of getting into. Little Crad asked again. Um, he says, "Why, and how is there blood and sunlight light suit in the training tape?" Now we're getting down into the lore bits. All right. So, um, you know, if you want to take your notes, you can, but I'm not really going to say too much. So, um, each video, each, like, um, uh, canon thing, uh, if you're not, if you're not counting my devlog, you're not counting the opening trailer, and you're not counting the teaser trailer, 
there are tapes, and those tapes have dates on them. Um, so, what I'm saying is, um, I'm saying that you have to, you know, follow the clues around the plaques and stuff, and you have to go into Discord, and you have to go into all of this stuff, connect the dots. It's a, it's a lot of theorizing. Um, I've heard a lot of people's um, theories. I've heard a lot of y'all's theories. And um, you guys do know what you guys are talking about. You guys you guys are coming up with these theories that um, I, you know, I like, but you, you guys don't really get them correct. And I want to tell you guys, but I, I really can't because that's for you guys to talk about. So why is there blood? Um, so I'm going to say um, Jeff's wife, and it, it's not a surprise. This is, I'm not spoiling anything. This is a simple surprise. Um, this is a surprise, uh, this is a surprise, you know, that no one should be really surprised about, you know. Um, this has been around for about three, two months. So you should know that Jeff, um, was the, um, was the killer of his wife. So, um, um, that suit... Um, it does, it does, there is some things that you, um, that that suit does entail. And, um, if the sequels come out and prequels come out, you would definitely get to, um, see, like, what is happening, you know. Uh, keep an eye on Sunny Light for the rest of the series, I, I'd say. Um, because she, right now she is the only one with um, a body, quote-unquote, I'm using quotations, so I'm not really confirming if it's a body or not, um, but there, are, she's the only one that has blood and all that stuff inside of her suit, I already told some people that, if you look at the character designs for all the, um, for the animatronics, uh, everything, everyone has a stomach hatch, um, it, it could be, it's like rectangle, it could be rectangle, it could be kind of an oval, you know, circular, um, but everyone has a stomach hatch except for Sunny Light. This it could be because of her print, uh, Light of the Party. Um, but that's not really the case. There's a specific reason why she ha- she has no stomach hatch. Um, why she doesn't have these um the features that most of the actual characters do. So, yeah. Abster asked, uh, "Will you have any special story DLCs or something to the Plex?" Yes. Um. Yes. Okay. So, if I were to add any DLCs, I would make a separate map. It wouldn't be in the main map, but it would be a separate map. And it wouldn't be really canon to the actual game at hand. Um, if I were to have the DLC part, uh, I would probably um, delete all things story-wise in the, in the map. Because then, you know, that's not really what it's going to be about. It's going to be canon. Um, we're... Sorry, my bad. It's gonna be not canon. Um, if I did, if I did do like a DLC because it it, it will kind of like strain off from the main storyline. So, um, I'll probably be adding a DLC sometime. I just don't know when. When are you saying goodbye, um, to on April thirtieth? All right, I knew people would ask this question, and I'm just I'm just saying goodbye. Um. And I'm not saying goodbye to the channel. I'm not saying goodbye to the Starlight Entertainment Universe. Um, or the SEU, whatever. The SEU. I'm not saying goodbye to any of that. I'm not saying goodbye. Um, I'm saying goodbye to a... Um, I'm saying goodbye to... I, I I'm guess I'm gonna, you know, kind of confirm it. But I am saying goodbye to, um, you know, Planetplex. Uh, because, uh, you know... Th- I I keep I keep games I keep my the stuff running for about like two three months and then um uh, I stop so in the original de- in the devlog I talked about how update three might be the last update and um it might come in May I don't know when it might come but it, it's gonna come sometime soon um but I'm saying about it to survive the Planetplex for um, reasons of my own you could probably um you could probably you know uh guess to why I'm thinking about the Starlight or the Planetplex. When would a single player map of Survive the Planetplex be made? Thank you for using the abbreviation because no one wants to type that entire thing out. Um, that's a good question. So if I were to, it, it would be kind of difficult to do that. I'm um, considering how much memory I'm I'm on. So if I wanted to, you know, have the mannequin devices move around and stuff, 
Um, you know, I've, I've heard about people, I've heard about uh, people wanting to only a single player map. Um, and I, I don't think how I, I don't think I can physically do that without, you know, um, kind of, you know, deleting his purpose because, um, the only, you can only do so much with character, um, you know, character devices, the mannequin device, you can only do so much. Um, the, the pathing might be different and you might go separate ways and, you know, there, there might be some workarounds. Yes. But like you, um, the characters are not going to be, I don't want to, I don't want to have actual AI because, um, because I think that playing with your friends is way more fun than playing with some, um, with, with some bots, you know, uh, I, I'm going to try, I'm going to sleep on it, okay? I'm going to try to make sure, I'm going to see all the possibilities I can do. But, uh, you know, it, it's not really a, a likely thing for me to add of, you know, one player. How is the map doing in terms of plays? It's a great question. Uh, I'm actually going to tell you guys how we're doing on plays. So, uh, a couple, a while ago, I did send out a, uh, a little bit of a information thing. And I talked about and I showed that you guys were absolutely savages. And you guys were able to get so of the Planiplex over 100 um, plays. So once again, I'm extremely grateful for that. For you guys playing my map 100 times. For people playing the map 100 times. Uh, people are definitely enjoying it. I've had my friends say that they are enjoying the game. Um, that the game's fun. It's scary. And you guys are going to get an award for getting over 100 plays. So currently, right now, as of um, Planetplex 1.2.5, uh, we have, I'm going to say 129. I'm refreshing the page right now. Let me see. Uh, but yeah, right now, we have a current number of 132. Uh, as of 1.5. So, thank you guys again for, you know, doing all that, for getting over, you know, 100, uh, 130. I, I deeply appreciate that. And um, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for you guys. So, thank you for that. If there was anything that the Starlight Entertainment owned before the plan was made, if so, what is it? All right. So, um, I was, you know, kind of, you know, getting the creative juices flowing um yesterday and i was kind of planning out the um the sequel the sequel um kind of the storyline show for the sequel and i wanted to allude on um what what exactly did um Star entertainment do because they've been here for quite some time over 10 years um in their universe uh because you know this takes place in 2025 so what they used to make was it was kind of a it's kind of a mix of everything. They originally used to be a TV company, um, and then they turned into kind of a, uh, I'd say like a acting company. You know, you know shows and stuff like that. After entertainment and stuff like that, um, so TVs, um, show like shows and stuff, and that does kind of fit with the storyline, does it not? I mean, um, TV shows, it, making TV shows and having TVs. There are a crap ton of TVs everywhere, right? If you go into, like, a room, you might see, like, one or two TVs. If you um, go to a YouTube video and you look at the first episode of the Sunny Light Show, it is a TV show. So, it really, it does work. It really does work with the, um, with the, with the ongoing story that they did make TVs back then. They used to make TVs through a TV manufacturing company turned to kind of a TV show company since, you know, TVs and all that junk. So they're very, they're like an electronic company originally. All right, will you do a video on a series or a series on a guide on the endings of uh and the lore of Starlight of Survive the Planet Plex? And if you do, um, it will it be when the map is still undergoing updates or when you move on to a new project? This is the final one, and this is a great one. So. Uh, I people I have been requested a couple of times for people for me to do a guide to get mo to get to different endings and stuff, and I think I will only tell you guys about the um I'll only give you guys the guides to how to get certain stuff 
when the map is already finished when i'm just doing bug up uh, bug fixes from now on um when i just like, completely move on when i move on to another project i'll probably do guides and stuff but when it comes to lore um that's gonna be a little bit complicated because i want you guys to figure out on your own uh but you guys might not have all the time in the world to you know figure out my story but you can at least figure out the base general idea of it you know if there, uh, if I were to make the lore, it would be w way after I've ended the Starlight Entertainment Universe, right? So, that's that's basically the question. I will probably make guides after I'm done with the map, after I'm done with the um, overgoing stuff or undergoing stuff, and I'll move on to the next project. In lore, that's going to be something for you guys to figure out because I know everything because it's my map. <laughs> so... That's it for the Q&A. Uh, I might do another thing, and, like, I might do another one in May or something like that. Um, but if you guys did enjoy, uh, once again, use code DAILYREBORN. We're trying to get it uh, $100 by uh, by next year. And so I can keep the code, keep making maps for you guys. Um, subscribe. We hit 140 subs, so, you know, hey, uh, I want to try to get to 200 by uh, the end of this year. But, yeah, it, this is... Uh, the map is going smoothly, um, production-wise, going great, um, and people are loving the map, and I'm loving it, you guys are, you know, loving it, so, I will, uh, you know, I'm gonna record this, I'm gonna edit this, you know, um, you guys are, hopefully you're gonna watch it and get some of your questions, you know, hope you guys got your questions answered, and hope you guys got the answers that you want, but not, I'll see you guys in the security office. See ya.